Well, we had a 37 Puma. That was 6 4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get the team out in the fourth four, 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 four. Oh. Well, are you two willing to do a, a reading each? Oh, I can't read. I'm losing my voice. I can read. You want to do both of them this morning? I can't read. I can't sing. <coughs> oh, yeah, I can read. Yeah. You mean there's no. Like it, I'll wait it. Well, Jane's family is in quarantine. Oh, Greg's family's in quarantine. Who? Uh, Greg's family's in quarantine. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and Jane is in quarantine. I don't know about Doug and Jenna, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> for 19? Yeah, they all were exposed to somebody with it. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I must be exposed to people all the time then. <laughs> you know. Oh, no, you must have a strong, strong body. Well, I don't know. I mean, I just... But you don't I see anybody all know. week, I suppose, huh? Yeah, huh? You don't see anybody all week, pretty much, huh? I, no, I didn't. Uh, well, I always... I go, I go to Point, ah, Shama, uh, and you go. I couldn't go, I don't go anymore because I get caught out on a highway. Oh, okay. From where 49 turns south. Seafield. Mm -hmm. uh, you go there and get it, all by yourself. Nobody's mm -hmm. right there. You just get a can there, get your yeah. money in here, smile, you're on Janet's cabin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there are people that still try to be trustful. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, it's cheaper, it's cheaper. I paid fifteen dollars and fifty cents in Clinton Mill for a hundred pounds. There's fourteen. You know, for a hundred pounds. Oh, and seven dollars yeah. for fifty pounds. Yeah. Well, I suppose this is all we're getting. So. Oh, well, we want to start. We can start. Oh, let's start. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> this is uh, this week we're celebrating the baptism of our Lord uh, on this the ninth day in January. Uh, a couple of announcements. I believe our council meeting is supposed to be tomorrow night. Um, we'll have to see based on COVID tests and everything if, if we have enough people that they can show up for it. And it, it's really cold, um, so uh, we might just have to to meet um, some other day and figure something else out. Um, but also, we have our, our annual meeting is February sixth. Um, so we'll have that coming up next month. You'll notice on the back of your bulletins, we do have the proposed budget for next or for this year. Um, along with the previous, I think there's the last three years worth of, of budgets. Um, you'll notice some things have been reduced, like our phone and internet, um, because we switched over to uh, Serenity with internet, and um, we have the Magic Jack for our phone. Uh, those expenses have actually decreased over uh, this last year. Um, and our Property insurance, we went with a new uh, provider, so that should go down uh, a couple of nice things. Um, plus, we're not planning on doing $20,000 worth of renovations to the parsonage this year. <laughs> uh, so our, our property expenses have gone down as well. So um, a little bit lower budget than last year, um, although we, we still did quite well last year, uh, budget-wise. So give thanks to everyone that helped make all those uh, necessary updates um, possible uh, because now we're kind of reaping the benefits of that of our better insulation and uh, lower lower costs in the long run so um, also uh, council is going to be discussing um, 
there's been a, an announcement by our synod staff, uh, our churchwide staff, uh, and now the Wisconsin Council of Churches, uh, encouraging congregations to um, put in place some more restrictions uh, as regards to worshiping in person, uh, and possibly even going back to online only. Uh, so the council is going to be discussing that uh, in the future, uh, what that means for worship and for our confirmation classes. So, um, yes, mm -hmm. What did you say about this uh, internet? Where, where is that located? Uh, I believe that's under. begins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfect love, perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us. And for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our gathering, sing, gathering song this morning is, This is the Spirit's Entry Now. Apologies, I think all three of our songs might be unfamiliar today. So. Okay. It's a good thing we got lots of people to sing. Oh, <laughs> oh.
acknowledge shorter songs, though, because we do have a noon game today, so got to make sure we're home in time for the Packers, right? <laughs> the grace of our brother Jesus, the love of Katanas, and the unity found in the Great Spirit with you all. And also with you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For these holy houses, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort. And defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join me in praying together our prayer of the day. Almighty God, you anointed Jesus at his baptism with the Holy Spirit and revealed him as your beloved Son. Keep all who are born of water and the Spirit faithful in your service, that we may rejoice to be called children of God. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Continue with our readings. No one else here? No one else here? Okay. First reading is from the Old Testament book of Isaiah. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Spirit, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Zeba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west. I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up and to the south. Do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. This ends the first reading. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 29. We read that whole verse. Adoration reads verses in full. Ascribe to the Lord your gods. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory to be God as King. Worship the Lord in the beauty of the holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is the call of the voice. The voice of the Lord is the voice of judgment. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The Lord makes Lebanon skip with the hair, and all her are the young wild olives. The voice of the Lord bursts forth in lightning flashes. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord all are crying, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as King forevermore. The Lord gives strength to your people. Give them, O Lord, the blessings of peace. <laughs> Second reading. Oh, second reading. Okay. 
Go for it. How many of you want to pray? How many apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God? They sent Peter and John to them. The two went down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit. For as yet the Spirit had not come upon any of them. And they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then Peter and John laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. This ends the second reading of Acts. I should rise for our gospel acclamation. salvation into the kingdom of heaven. And just as they start wondering who this John fellow might be, he corrects them. He says, no, no, I'm not the Messiah. I baptize you with water, but one who is more powerful than I is is the reason I am able to do all of this. And as great as you might think I am, I am unworthy to be even the lowest of servants to him. He 
He could have taken the fame and the glory. He could have said, yes, I am here to save you. Follow me. But he didn't. He pointed to the true leader of the nations. To the one who would sacrifice everything to save us. He lived an upright and faithful life dedicated to preparing the way for his Savior. It reminds me of a church that I visited on occasion while in seminary in Dubuque, St. Luke's Methodist Church in downtown Dubuque. They were a beautiful church that did a lot of service ministry. They have a soup kitchen, a food pantry. I believe they even have a clothing closet for those in need of fresh clothes. But the first thing that people usually notice about that church was their windows. See, they had stained glass windows made by Tiffany. Yeah, they were awesome. In the true meaning of the word, you would look at these windows and have to remind yourself to breathe. It looked like they were alive, depicting the stories of the Bible coming to life through the sunlight of today. But even more beautiful than these windows was a banner that I noticed on the front of their church. If you like our windows, you'll love our people. Recognizing that it isn't Tiffany stained glass windows, it isn't the bricks and the mortar of the church that was important, but the people gathered there to share the good news of Christ. To share the love of God with the neighborhood around them. What a great example for that community. And it was a testament to that congregation that in the midst of racial rioting back in the decades gone by, when there was so much turmoil in Dubuque that people thought it would cease to exist as a town because there was no way they could overcome the racial injustices. This congregation and their Tiffany windows remained. They stayed a vital part of their community. And those windows, unlike others, in town, remained untouched. Because while they certainly looked decadent and wasteful to those who struggled for justice and equality and food and shelter, they knew the name of St. Luke's in that community as a place of welcome place of shelter, a place where you can truly feel God's love. Now that's not to say that other congregations in Dubuque weren't just as welcome. There were quite a few that still have a special place in my heart. But there was something special about that church, those people. I knew that their goal in life was not to have a beautiful building, but to share God's love. To point to Christ as the reason for existing. 
There's something awesome when you walked in that church. The windows were stunning, but the people, even more so. That sentiment was felt here at Wilderness as well. I grew up with a family that loved working with wood, that loved the sight and the smells and the feel of it. So the first time that I walked into Wilderness and saw the beauty around me of this building, This would be a great place to work. And then I met the people. And I prayed to God that they would find a place for me here. Because as beautiful as this building is, as amazing as it is, as a testament to the hard work and dedication of people still around us and those who have walked on is nothing compared to the experience of worshiping with its people, of sharing the living word with a congregation that can't help but exude God's love, to share love with those around them no matter who or what they are, no matter where they have come from or where they're going. To sit and have a cup of coffee at Wilderness is similar to a mountaintop experience. Because there's that feeling of welcome, of love. Just like in our Gospel reading, John the Baptist testifies to Christ, reminds us that our work is insignificant compared to that of Jesus Christ, the one who came to save the world, to die on the cross that we might live, to open the gates of heaven destroy the gates of hell forever. Amen. And now let us sing our hymn of the day, Crashing Waters at Creation.
first and four. I'll have to speak loud. Let us confess our faith together using the words of our credo statement. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. church, the world, and all that God has made. By the Holy Spirit, you gather your church and send it out in mission to share the good news of Jesus. Inspire your faithful people to be fervent in prayer and service, that all people know they are precious in God's sight. God of grace, hear our prayer. You reveal your love and power through water and the Spirit. Guard rivers, seas, and all bodies of water from destruction and pollution. Secure access to clean water for all, and protect the land from drought and flood. God of grace, hear our prayer. Establish among the nations the blessings of peace. Raise up leaders who will protect vulnerable people in their care. Strengthen advocates who risk reputation or retaliation for the sake of mercy and justice. God of grace, hear our prayer. prayer. You protect us through the fires and troubled waters of this life. Assure us that we will not be cut off from you by illness or despair, anxiety or pain, confusion or weakness. Comfort all who are in need. We pray especially for those in name aloud and in our hearts. God of grace, Hear our prayer. We are joined in baptism to Christ and to one another. Bless those who are newly baptized and those who are preparing for baptism. Help us to be faithful in fellowship, worship, evangelism, service, and justice seeking. God of grace, hear our prayer. You created each of your saints for your glory. We give you thanks for those you have called by name into your eternal embrace. Comfort us in grief and release us from fear. God of grace, hear our prayer. Since we have such great hope in your promises, O God, we lift these and all our prayers to you in confidence and faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. And also, and also with you. They share signs of peace with those around you. And then let us pray. Good and loving God, we rejoice in the birth of Jesus, who came among the poor to bring the riches of your grace. As you have blessed us with your gifts, let them be blessing for others. With the trees of the field, with all earth and heaven, we shout for joy at the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. May Patamaos bless you and keep you. May Patamaos shine on you and be gracious to you. May Patamaos look upon you favor and grant you peace. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit that makes us one. Amen and amen. Now let us sing our sending hymn, Christ and for us in word of time. Tune. It's the wood version of it. 